Oh yeah. Now this is uh, really quick and dirty, this one. I've literally just got off the phone talking to somebody. And the essence of the conversation was that when you're heavily emotionally dependent, you're very heavily dependent on finding other people's opinions and talking to people and drawing their opinions in. So the move to emotional self-reliance is a very big one. Okay, so you're moving from caring about everything that people think and hunting popularity to actually learning to respect and accept yourself and it's a very and the jump is very very big so essentially they've more or less asked me to do essentially see my role as it as um, is essentially acting as a sort of hand holding device to go from there to there which means in the short term they're going to be dependent on me to migrate them over so there's a dependency but instead of the dependency being to perpetuate itself, i.e. I try and get you always to be dependent on me and they're always dependent on me. My goal and their goal, we have a shared goal, which is to move them to emotional self-reliance or to be emotionally self-reliant, i.e. they don't ever need me. Okay, so it's effectively like a sort of hand-holding scenario where I'll, I can talk to you and chat to you and sort of Hand, hold the hand over this bridge if you like and then eventually let go into that space there ok that's how I see it and how they wanted it anyway that's what worked on the phone so we carried on anyway uh, where I tried to explain a bit more about how the website respectexchange.com works and here's when you log on this is very another dodgy drawings <laughs> what I've done is I've put tips on the sort on, on this drawing this thing here right here this thing here is like the mirror. It's trying to say there's a picture of a mirror there to symbolise you looking in a mirror, talking to yourself. And then this here is like your own wall uh, where you put your own thoughts down. So each time someone can put your own thoughts in those little boxes and each time you add one it adds. It works a lot like a Facebook wall. Okay, and you're talking to yourself, nobody else. Now what that means is, is I can, uh, if you ask me to, can come in and look at what you're writing and on your wall, put ideas for structuring your thoughts, for helping draw your thoughts out of your raw emotions. So if you're really, really angry, you type, I'm really, really angry, I hate, da, da, da. And then I can prompt you to try and distill that anger into a thought so that you become aware of that thought. And then you can carry on having become aware of that thought, keep having conversations with yourself, structuring, structuring, until you get to a choice as to how you deal with that thought. See, at any moment in time, I can come in, have a look, and make suggestions directly on your wall. Okay? The tab under respectexchange.com is called Look Into Your Mirror, for obvious reasons. Okay? And that's primarily how I see myself being able to sort of give you a sort of hand holding as you move from emotional dependency to emotional self reliance. It is perfectly possible for us to talk as well. Maybe even run workshops one day where we can come together and sort of share our experiences. Okay, that's it for now. Very quick and dirty, but I hope you can see it's actually the in-the-moment content for me is more important than some fancy video. Anyway, have a good evening. Um, see you later. Bye.